Hello, and welcome to a video on how to diagnose server crashes on Minecraft. Server crashes can occur if you do not have enough resources to run your server or installed a non-functioning or incompatible mod or plugin. At first, this might seem confusing, but in this video, I'm going to explain each issue and explain how to fix it. Where to find crash reports? The first step is to go to scalacube.com and log into your account. Next, go to Servers and click on Manage Server. Click Manage again. Find File Manager on the left tab and enter it. Locate the folder named Crash-Reports and enter it. This is generally the location where all server crash-related issues can be found. The crash reports are labeled according to when it happened by date. Crashes due to lack of resources. If a crash report reads, one of your latest server log files contains the following error message, slash home slash minecraft slash dot control slash start dot sh line kill java dot 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 dash jar server dot jar. This means your server has insufficient RAM to operate properly. You will need to upgrade your plan to one with more RAM to fix this problem. Crashes due to mods. If the crash report reads missing mods, then that means one mod is dependent on the other and is required to be installed for the first mod to run correctly. An example of this is Mod Thomcraft. Thomcraft requires Bobbles at 1.5.2, meaning Bobbles 1.5.2 has to be installed for Thomcraft to work correctly. If we scroll down, we can see the mod loading details. These come in different loading stages. U equals unloaded, L equals loaded, C equals constructed, H equals pre-initialized, I equals initialized, J equals post-initialized, A equals available, D equals disabled, E equals errored. Anything marked with an E that is errored must be removed and reevaluated because that is the reason why your server is crashing. Crashes due to plugins. Crashes can happen with plugins if the plugin added is not meant for the server version or simply is not working as it's supposed to. One of these examples of this is shown here. Unsupported API version 1.16, where the plugin version is not matching the server version. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.